I don't micromanage, but I do care deeply about every product we make. Everyone goes through me and try most of our products before they go to market, including our John Paul Pet Flea and Take Shampoo. If I don't like it, it's not going out. Quote, John Paul DeGioia. If that's how much John Paul DeGioia cares about these products, you can imagine how carefully they manage the hiring process within the company. In this episode, we will talk about John DeGioia's work culture and his dedication towards every piece of work done. For more videos, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon for more notifications. Before getting into the hiring process and interviews, let's take a look at John DeJaria's company and his journey. Who is John Paul DeJaria? Entrepreneur and philanthropist, John Jones DeJaria is known for his Paul Mitchell hair products. Moreover, he is the co-founder and CEO of Pattern Spirits Company. He has a net worth of $4 billion. DeJoria was born in Echo Park in Los Angeles on April 13, 1944. As a young boy, he sold newspapers and cards to help support his family after his parents divorced when he was two. DeJoria graduated from John Marshall High School. The mother could not provide for both of her children, so she had to send them to a foster home. In his teenage years, he got involved with some street gangs activities, but was advised by a teacher that school would change his path. After graduating from high school in 1962, he served two years in the Navy. As a janitor and insurance salesman, DeJoria worked many jobs to make ends meet. His entrepreneurial success began at Redken Laboratories. The hairdresser Paul Mitchell and John DeJoria co-founded John Paul Mitchell Systems in 1980. The business started with a $700 loan. DeJoria also owns 70% of Petron Spirits, the world's most famous tequila brand. DeJoria's most known values as a hairdresser and a professional in the beauty industry, John Paul has donated his time, money, and expertise to helping others. John Paul was a patron of Mindseeker, a nonprofit organization dedicated to finding solutions to the global problem of landmines, along with Brad Pitt, Richard Brinson, and the late Nelson Mandela. In addition to receiving the Sustainability Award at Fashion Group International's 25th Annual Night of Stars, John Paul was also inducted as a lifetime member of the Horatio Alger Association of Distinguished Americans. Let's take a look at what John DeJoria says about the hiring process at his company. It does not matter whether it is a receptionist or the president of my company. I look for people that have better skills than I could have in that position or have the ability to have that skill better than I could have myself. When you hire someone or put them in management, make sure they are trained or have the ability to do better than you. Then you are a leader. This clearly shows that DeJoria believes in working with people who are achievers, optimists, and problem solvers. He does not believe in hand-holding employees to help them navigate the seas. If you are applying to work with his team, his five cents are that you should get the necessary training for the position before applying or apply for a job that you truly qualify for. That's a number one factor when it comes to his hiring process, who is always looking for people who are trained and have the ability to perform better every day. Being a part of his team requires skills, discipline, and the commitment to grow together with the company. He cares about every single product he puts out there. 
He makes sure that his employees are handpicked for the best results and efficient work. How are Paul Mitchell and John Paul DeGioia connected? There are some things that never change. Co-founder and the chairman of the board, John Paul DeGioia, and co-owner, Angus Mitchell, still direct the company to its original vision. Their award-winning team teaches new techniques and shares the latest trends with salon professionals around the world. John Paul Mitchell's systems-trained stylist process elite knowledge and unparalleled passion to their profession. Who cares about the name? In this case, it's really vital. For more than 40 years, John Paul Mitchell brand has an iconic brand of professional hair care products. With over 100,000 salons in 81 countries, they graduate nearly 10,000 students from their 100 plus schools every single year. Graduates of Paul Mitchell schools inherit the reputation for innovation and excellence and a long-standing commitment to quality. What makes recruitment a success? John Paul Associates have developed an intimate understanding of what makes long-term success in recruitment. Here are some strategies that they have adopted. Employee loyalty and performance are less affected by salary and more influenced by their character. Establishing your brand's personality before hiring is essential. It is impossible for your customers to love your company unless your employees love it first. What promises should you make to the candidates? This is a second most important decision you can possibly make. Offer a competitive and unique benefit. You must also deliver the benefit you promise. Without it, they risk losing the best and brightest competitors or worse than that sometimes. What are employee resource groups? Having been inspired by John's Equity and Opportunity Council, the company is actively investing in employee resource groups. Employee resource groups serve as the invaluable vessel of communication and provide employees with the opportunity to onboard seamlessly into a work environment with a sense of belonging. Gain sponsorship directly from JPMS by joining together based on shared characteristics or experiences. Share diverse perspective and ideas to advocate for themselves. The Joria's work culture. Diversity is everything. This is the mission of John Paul Mitchell Systems brands. Cultivate an inclusive and belonging culture. Hatred, racism, and violence are not tolerated in his company. Culture change occurs when marginalized voices are amplified and marginalized groups are more visible. Employees who feel valued and accepted as they are inside and outside JPMS have the tendency to be more productive. The company will always strive to foster a diverse and inclusive workforce. This is a much needed work culture in today's 21st century, especially when you have people working from different cultures and races in the same company. This means that there will be no discrimination on the basis of your background or gender. If you are someone who loves to work in a growing community focused on being diverse, John Paul Dodoria's team might be the right place for you. But there are more to the hiring process before you apply. The interview questions that you can be asked at John Paul Dodoria's company some of the most relevant questions are a plausible situation where the candidate is asked to find solutions for a specific conflict and handle various clients. This is followed by problems in handling fellow students. What is your motivation to join the team? Now, this is a make or break question. They know that the money is excellent. There is exposure, growth, and learning opportunities, work culture, 
and all the perks that comes from working with the John Paul Dutorio's incredible team. The interviewer is looking for something out of the box. Your road learning will definitely not give you a place in the team. This is where you think differently and surprise the interviewer with your answers. Other common questions that you may be asked. What are your greatest strengths and weaknesses? Why would you be the best fit for our team? How would you best manage conflict with a coworker? According to an Indeed survey, most respondents said their interview at Paul Mitchell's was easy. The survey asked more than 11 respondents if they thought their interviews at Paul Mitchell were fair assessment of their skills. 75% of 12 respondents interviewed at Paul Mitchell said they were really excited to work there, with 17% of the 12 respondents choosing this option. The next most popular choice was that they felt the same. As part of the survey, over 12 current and former employees were asked how much related work experience they had when they interviewed at Paul Mitchell. A majority answered one to three years. The second most popular answer was about a week. How does John Paul DeGioia keep his employees happy? Mitchell system can be found in almost 100 countries. The company has been around 37 years. It has a relatively very low employee turnover rate. When John Paul Mitchell hires people, those people usually do more than one thing. When he gives someone responsibility for multiple positions, they are paid extremely well for the work they do. At the end of the day, he really takes good care of his employees. In the event of a turn down, you don't have to eliminate anybody. Migration is not an issue for them because they already do multiple things. When businesses think about this and hire people with fewer moving parts from the beginning, the company probably has one fourth of the number per capita employees that their competitors do at the same time. Still, when they hire, they are doing more than one thing. Jean-Paul de Joria believes it is one of the things that will make America great. Because this kind of labor skills has already made America great in the past. Although the current situation has not been as good as possible, it will improve in the future when people will save getting one job to do one thing all the time because it gets very boring. Instead, they do two or three things if they can do. Suddenly, they are happy with what they are doing, excited about it, and complete that day very excited and enthusiastic. Once Francisco Alvarez, the chief genius of cranial formulas of control at John Patron's company, was asked, is there a secret to Patron's being so good? Why do people keep returning? Tell us the truth. He replied that the secret was very simple. Why Patron is such a great company, it's something called love. The employees love what they are doing. They never want to leave the company. If you work for John Dejorius during the day shift, you get a free lunch from the chefs. If you work overnight or late into the evening, you get a free lunch and dinner from the chef. As a result, the company built a chapel in the religious words right in the middle. And even businesses were involved in even the new rock level of saving this way. Conclusion. When you show your people that you love them and you are giving back, not just ordering all the money for yourself, they want to get involved. Many companies already volunteer to help make the world a better place on their days off. Now, look in the future at what somebody should have looked over the years and be open to change. Try not to plan your work a year ahead. Take into consideration where the trends are going even years in advance, but take care of your people. Links to everything will be in the description below. If you like our content, don't forget to subscribe 
and hit the notification bell. It will notify you about our new content that we share with you every week. This will help us produce great content for our professional audience. Let us know if there is something you would like us to discuss in a future episode. Please click the show notes and you can ask your questions directly to me. Thank you for listening. I will see you in the next episode.